Hi everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us today for our session focusing on an overview of Product Opportunity Explorer. My name is Yas and I'm on the Seller University team. Our presenters today are Spencer and Brittany who are both growth consultants at Amazon. With that, I will turn it over to Spencer to get us started. Awesome, thanks Yas. In today's session, we'll cover what the Product Opportunity Explorer is, how it can help your business, and how to take advantage of some specific features. As a reminder, you can join us again tomorrow and Friday for the next lessons in this series. Let's start by covering exactly what the Product Opportunity Explorer is. It's a tool to help you better understand customer demand and generate new product or offer ideas. The tool gives you insight into Amazon customer search and purchase behavior, which you can use to identify unmet demand and engagement opportunities with new products or offers. The Product Opportunity Explorer gives you up-to-date data on customer needs and current selection across the Amazon store. To help you find opportunities that fit your business, the tool uses niches. A niche, in this context, is a collection of customer search terms and products that represent a specific customer need. Customers show their needs by searching for products, and we create niches by grouping search terms based on the products customers view or purchase after searching. You can browse or search to find niches that make sense for your business and use their details to help you understand the potential sales performance of a new product or offer in that space. Use the Find Opportunities by Category menu to browse niches by category and subcategory, or you can search for a term or phrase using the search bar up top. After searching for or selecting a category, relevant niches are listed on a niche results page. From there, we determine relevancy based on text matching between your search terms and the search terms related to niches. Alongside each niche, you'll find the top associated search terms and other key metrics. Use the filter results button to help find niches with specific factors. You can filter by multiple metrics. For example, filtering results to only show niches with a low number of total products and a high search volume could help you identify unmet customer demand and an opportunity for a new product. Each niche has a detail page providing additional information, like current products within the niche, top search terms, and statistics about new product launch potential. Use these details to determine if a similar product filling the same customer need would be a good fit for your business. When you find a relevant niche and view its detail page, you'll find four tab sections with more information. You can select products, search terms, insights, and trends to see specific details. The product section can help you understand what customers are looking for and get a sense of the overall competition within a niche. This section lists the products within a niche that cumulatively receive 80% of clicks after customer searches. You can learn more about how long products have been competing in this space, how well established products are, and how customers rate and review them with product attributes like brand, average selling price, and launch date. Reviewing the different brand names listed can also help you understand if a particular brand is already dominating the space. You can also check the average review rating and number of reviews to get a better sense of this situation. Next, let's cover the search term section. This section can help you better understand customer search behavior and search term performance. Check it for top customer search terms, search volume, click share, search conversion rate, and top three clicked products. Use this section to learn more about customer intent and to identify product attributes or features that are potentially important to customers. Now we'll take a deeper dive into how the insights and trends sections can help you find deeper insights about a niche and its potential opportunity. The insights section can help you understand specific dynamics in a niche including how saturated it is, launch potential for new products, and overall customer experience. Let's take a look at how the insight section can help you start identifying product opportunities. The percentage of sponsored products metric can help you identify competition. 
A low percentage of sponsored product campaigns can indicate a less competitive space and an opportunity to launch a product with less advertising investment. Similarly, a low percentage of prime products can help you identify an opening for you to quickly build momentum by creating a new prime offer. This is a particularly helpful metric for FBA sellers. ASINs within a niche that don't have a prime offer could present a perfect opportunity. Clickshare metrics can help you build a better overall understanding of a niche. For example, a niche with a high number of products and a high percentage of clickshare could indicate that a specific brand or product is dominating a space. In this case, there may not be customer demand for a new product, but there could be opportunity to add an offer to an existing listing. A low number of products with a low percentage of click share could indicate a niche with low competition and high demand, making it potentially a great option for launching a new product. You can also look out for niches with a low number of products and a high percentage of click share. This could indicate a specific brand or ASIN is dominating a space due to lack of competition and present an opportunity for a new product. You can also compare the number of new products launched and number of successful launches within a niche to get a deeper understanding. For example, a high number of products with a high number of successful launches could establish that customer need exists, but may already be identified by other brands or sellers. A low number of both products launched and successful launches could suggest low demand or low quality products within a niche. You should also look out for niches with a low number of products launched, but a high number of successful launches. This could indicate customer demand that still isn't being met and present an opportunity. Also pay attention to the average out of stock rate metric as well. A high out of stock rate could indicate demand for more products or offers, provided search volume is high and shows annual growth. Now let's transition to the trend section, which can help you understand the seasonality, historical average price, and performance over time of a niche. You can customize the graph shown in this section to compare metrics and get a deeper understanding of seasonal customer behavior. You can compare search volume and search conversion rate to understand customer habits, like when they may be more likely to make a purchase. Comparing seller partner count, brand count, or product count with search volume can help you gauge the overall competition within a niche. High demand with a low number of products or sellers could present an opportunity to enter a less competitive niche. You can also use brand count to identify brand dominated niches. Pay attention to niches with high or steadily rising product counts, as this could indicate rising competition. Use the add metric button to show the options for more metrics and to add or remove options to customize the display. High search volume with a low search conversion could indicate the product selection isn't fulfilling customer need. If you have this suspicion, use the insight section to explore other details like product quality, average star rating, and percentage of prime products to get a better understanding of what might be missing that customers are looking for. Use the niche's average price to learn if search conversion rate and price decreases are directly related. If a niche shows a consistent drop in pricing, you'll want to think about your margins before launching a new product. You can also use pricing history to understand the best times to run deals and lower prices to stay competitive. If you see frequent price drops and spikes, you may want to run deals accordingly to stay competitive. Finding a niche with high search conversion rates and a high average price could indicate a less competitive niche or a customer base willing to pay a premium for a popular product. Awesome, thank you everyone for attending and thanks Yoss for setting this up and for Brittany for assisting with Q&A. Awesome, thank you everyone. Have a good one, bye.